How plants reproduce. Plants have different parts that work together to make new plants. The part that surrounds the flower as it grows is called the sepal. The sepal has two jobs. The first job is to protect the flower bud before it opens. After the flower blooms, the sepal supports the flower. The colorful part of the flower that is most visible is the petal. All the petals together are called the corolla. Little stalks that stick up are called the stamen. The stamen produces and holds little grains of golden dust called pollen. Pollen contains cells that are very important in the reproduction of flowering plants. Another important part that is needed for the plant's reproduction is called the pistil. In order for flowering plants to reproduce or make new plants, the pollen from the stamens must travel to the pistil. When the pollen arrives and sticks to the pistil, we call that process pollination. Sometimes plants need help in the pollination process, getting the pollen from the stamen to the pistil. One way is by insects. The beautiful color, pretty smell, and sweet nectar from the flowers attracts insects to the flower. Pollen from the flower's stamen is picked up by hairs on the insect's body. When the insect flies to another flower, some of the pollen rubs off from the insect. Another way pollination occurs is by wind. Lots of times, the pollen grains are tiny and light, and the wind can easily carry them from the stamens to the pistils. Some birds also help in the pollination process. Once the pollen grains stick to the pistil, a pollen tube begins to form. The pollen tube extends down to the ovary, the lower most part of the pistil. In the ovary, we find the ovules. The ovules develop into seeds. After fertilization, the petals of the flower dry out and fall off. They're not needed anymore. And then the ovary transforms into a fruit. Fruit surrounds and protects the seeds. The next time you eat certain fruit or vegetables, you can check out the seeds inside. The seed contains the young plant that allows the plant to reproduce. Did you know that some plants don't have flowers at all? They form seeds inside cones. Pine trees and fir trees are two kinds of plants that have cones instead of flowers. At first, cones are shut tight until the seeds have developed. Then the cones open, allowing the seeds to fall to the ground so they can begin to grow.